There's just so much going on in, in downtown. This is sort of where everyone is meeting. The Humans of San Antonio project started in 2012 and it was a four year project. Excuse me, sir, I, could I take your photograph? I was photographing um, pretty much every other day, mostly um, after work or on the weekends. Um, just looking for people in downtown San Antonio to interview, take their photograph, and then I would post like a little story about them on social media. Excuse me, excuse me, do you guys, do I have a second? I was wondering if I could take your photograph. Okay. It was, it was, it was a lot of failure in the beginning, that's for sure. And I made a lot of people feel uncomfortable in the beginning. <laughs> but I think once I got the hang of it, once I got used to just approaching people, I felt like um, it was much easier to sort of break that barrier. Excuse me, actually, you know what? Could I take y'all's photograph? My name is Michael, and uh, sure. I, I take like, I, I know, it's, yeah, right, awesome. We're from like, Tampa, Florida. Oh, okay, so great. you are more than welcome to take our picture. Awesome. Really, there was no specific process for street photography. You know, for me, it was just really spontaneous. I would just walk down the streets, and if I saw a scene that came together in an interesting way, I'd photograph it. But more importantly, you know, I was looking for faces. I was looking for people who I thought could tell me a story or open to telling me a story about themselves. Just bugging people on the streets and just asking some from some Love questions it. and taking you some photos great, and stuff. So questions. thank you so much. Wow. Well, you ask questions about what you feel and think. You know, real and things real that matter questions. to everyone. So I'm gonna import these. It was really a passion project. I wasn't expecting a book to come out of the Humans of San Antonio project. I was just really just doing it for fun. A few years later, Trinity University reached out and was interested in publishing a book. You know, I want to keep the photo like as authentic as possible. Yeah, probably, it might be like, I think it'd be this one. I don't know, kind of, I love that smile back there. My advice would be to never give up. You're going to have a lot of ups and downs. If you stay with it and you work hard, people will appreciate that and good things will happen.